Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day. And today, here we are in Colorado, and boy, is it another hot one. It's been a real hot summer and muggy for Colorado. But nonetheless, today we are, I have swapped out my Tesla Model X Plaid for the most fun Tesla that one could buy. Now, if you don't know, I've owned every performance model Tesla and I've documented it here on the channel. It's not like I borrowed it for a day or, you know, I had it on loan for like a week. I've owned every one with the exception of the Tesla Roadster, the Lotus chassis Roadster. Oh my gosh, that would be such a sick vehicle to own, wouldn't it? I think those things are going for like I don't know, 100, 115, 130 on average. And I think you can buy exceptional versions of that car for like 150. But honestly, guys, I think, you know, if you're looking for an investment vehicle, that could be it right there because there's not a lot of them made. And I don't think collecting electric vehicles is quite a thing yet, but it will be a thing. Mark my words. So nonetheless, today we are in the most fun Tesla. And let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. Now, I didn't get rid of the Model X. I still have the Model X, but the Model X had some problems with the Falcon wing doors. One of them in particular was misaligned. So when I went to go drop that guy off, Tesla gave me this little sucker. And look at this. It is a Performance Model 3. Now, I owned a Stealth Performance Model 3. If you don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and link up in the top right corner. You can check out my video on what is a Stealth Performance Model 3. But this one is just a normal Model 3. They've capped it at 85 miles per hour and they took off track mode or they limited it anyway so that you can't access it. And so I've had this little guy to drive around for the past couple days while they've had the X. And man, this is just the most fun Tesla that you can buy. It's great value. Man, they're fun to drive. Great value. It's kind of like the equivalent if you've ever owned like a little four banger car or rented one. They're fun because you can just mash the pedal down. It's not like it's like crazy unsafe or anything, but you really get the full experience out of that car. Just totally putting the throttle down or the accelerator or whatever you're driving. And this is kind of that same experience that in conjunction with the track mode it's not as heavy as the plaid so it doesn't shred tires quite like oh, i'm sorry the model s plaid that is it didn't it, this particular vehicle doesn't shred tires quite like the model s plaid did so you can kind of just drift around parking lots and stuff like that um, and not have to just replace your tires afterwards so anyway super cool car look at this really unique uh rental it's actually tinted i don't know if you can tell in the video here but, and it's not a rental, it's a loaner. But the windows are tinted and we've got this like carbon fiber. This is an older model. You could see it had the chrome trim on it, but it's got uh, a wrap, like a little fake carbon fiber vinyl wrap. It's actually bubbling, but it's a really weird loaner to have a freaking performance model three. What a bizarre loaner. So anyway, this is in fact the most fun Tesla you can own and they're great, great value. And so now that I've owned every performance Tesla there is with that caveat that we talked about, and this is not a flex by any means, this is not a flex. Guys, the only reason material goods are cool or are fun is because we can share that experience with other people, right? If we just own something cool and it's just you and that thing, it gets old real fast. And so this is not a flex saying that I've owned all these Teslas. It's just, it is what it is. And so I will be making a video coming up very soon here on, hey, if you're in the market for a Tesla, this one's awesome for this reason. And this one is not so awesome for this, this reason. And this one, I didn't really anticipate this thing. And so we'll be talking about all that kind of stuff in a very um soon to be released video which i haven't shot it yet but it's coming out soon and so if you have questions ahead of that stuff that you want to know about any of the particular models go ahead and comment down below let me know the questions that you would like addressed in that video and i'll go ahead and talk about it so that's pretty much it guys if you like this kind of content as always humbly i'd be so appreciative if you gave me a like give me a sub and we'll see you in the next one